In this video, we're going to take an initial look at events. And of course, we've been using events throughout the series. We just haven't talked about them much because we focused on some other aspects of JavaScript. But now we're going to take a look at events. And for the next several videos, I'll be introducing a new event in every video. Now, in this video, we're going to take a look at an event we've already used, the onClick event. And that's good because we want to really talk about what events are and why we use them. Now, almost every great website today is a responsive website. Now, how do we make a website responsive to the user? We do it through events. And events quite simply happen most of the time when a user does something on the web page. They could click on a button, they could hit a keystroke. It is events that respond to something happening on our web page. And it is events that in turn trigger our JavaScript code to respond to the user. And that is why JavaScript is an awesome language because we can react to our users in a very dynamic way. Now the technical term they use is event handlers. All that means is we create code, in this case JavaScript code, to handle the particular event that occurred. And we've been doing event handlers, that is we created our JavaScript functions. They get executed when an event occurs. So as I said, the good news is we've already been doing a lot of this, but now it's just time to break down what events are. Now there are two types of events. Those where the user actually does something, like click on a mouse, move a mouse, perform a keystroke, something like that. And then there are events that are not necessarily triggered by the user, but are triggered by something else. For instance, there is an event that gets kicked off when the web page loads, and that is called the onload event. And we'll be covering that in a future video. So there are two main steps that we must do every time we create an event. The first is we have to choose the element where we will place our event. In this case, we're putting it in the button element. So our event is on click, and when we click the button, the event gets triggered, and it will trigger our function, our JavaScript function right here, which will in turn execute the code that we want to execute. In this case, it'll change the color of this text. So that first step remembers we have to take this event and put it in a HTML element. And as I said, in this case, we put it in the button element because it has to be associated with some element on our page, otherwise nothing really will happen. So that's the first step. The second event is we have to choose the type of event we want to use. In this case, we're using the on click event, and that is just a single click. Now you can actually do multiple events, but that is for a future video. In this case, we're only worried about single events, but you can actually trigger multiple events. But in this case, we're just gonna pick the on click event, which gets triggered, of course, when we click our submit button. So just remember, it's a two-step process. You have to bind it to an element node, and then you have to pick the type of event that you're going to use. Now, when the event happens, yes, something has to happen. In other words, the button click. Until that, our JavaScript code is just sitting there waiting to be executed. But once that event happens, the event triggers our JavaScript function, which in this case is change color, and then our JavaScript code gets executed. So again, this code is very recognizable. We didn't really change anything up in this video. I just wanted to talk about how you create events, and in the next video, we'll actually introduce a new event. But let's go ahead and run this code, and we're just going to do what we've been doing. We're going to just get the element ID. We know what that is and we're just going to change the color to blue so let's see what happens we'll actually fire up our web page here now nothing has happened right this web page got loaded but we haven't actually clicked on anything so the event has not been triggered now when we hit the submit button the event got triggered it triggered our function and then it went to our code and then it's a two-step process over here remember we have to get the element id and then we have to do something to the element that we want to change in this case we want to change the paragraphs text to blue okay that's going to do it for this video in the next video we will introduce a new event see you guys then